putting opposites in space. Alright, now we have some nice scenery coming up here. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Almost no clouds around. Gilby, hello. Um, no, uh, usually I start 1700 UTC, but um, it's a weekend and I thought we start a little bit earlier because I know you guys, um, some of you want to party or something, and um, then uh, I thought we'd do the group flight first. Enjoy that, and afterwards, um, yeah, I'll be around. I'll be streaming until what well, open end. I'm not sure when I'm going to end today. Probably going to be a long stream today. I have a lot of things set, uh, set up, so I'm looking forward to that. Reynolds, wow, 2,000 and what? One, two, three, four, five. Is that 2,600 cheers spits from uh, Breno. Thank you very, very much. And a small touchdown challenge in Samos. All right. Very nice. Welcome. <clears throat> Which is good because I still have one voucher from Aerosoft um, lying around here. So I can actually give one away straight away today. That's so you. So I'll show you. I'll show you. So that's, that's yeah. the VOR approach, right? Um, and all you're doing there is the 14 dm arc and then the 358 degree rated inbound. Mm -hmm. And at 9 dme from Samos, you start your descent to the minimum. And um, so that's about 18 or 1900 feet, around about 1880. And um, from there, we'll do the visual circle onto the runway um, 09. All right, I'm going to send 7000, and that's the transition altitude. Let me just get the latest weather. Now I have a DME distance, 20 miles, yeah. It's coming in pretty late, so there we have the island. Those are the mountaintops um, on the west side. I actually know it. No, that's, I think the airport is right there. Yeah, we can see the airport already here. So it's right straight ahead. Usually we come in from the arrive route from the, um, the west here. But I'm coming pretty much straight from the north. I'm gonna fly straight towards the airport. I can see Brennold now on the down a little bit more. So here it is, beautiful Samos. There's the runway we're gonna land on. So 156 outbound. Just a little bit of tailwind, so not much more of a correction that we need to fly. And we're clear to descent now at 3,000 feet. Let's put that at my 358, that's the inbound reminder. So now what we do, we have a look and pull that tail towards 156 degrees. And I'm gonna start the stopwatch. Two minutes outbound, flaps going one. Turn down uh, 1900 feet, approaching my descent point. Inbound tr tracking is good. We'll sort that out. Alright, so I'm gonna start my descent, 9 miles. Gears coming down.
We can see the village here on the coastline. That's our village we have to aim for. Alright, the ref was 137, so I'm going to slow down to 142. coming 25 and so we turn at four miles four miles we'll start to turn towards that um, that village so that's a boat I think Kidman just passing over me now 6,000 flaps 30 menu flight runways inside so I will continue yeah you've landed yeah very nicely done. Hang around and right, manual thrust. I'm gonna turn off the flight directors. Alright, four miles, and so we're going to aim for that village there. We'll aim for one thousand feet overhead the coastline. Yeah, MCK, try to notify me when he's 30 miles from uh, Samos. That would be a good idea. Now we can see the white building I was talking about. That's right there. Let's see if I switch that off. And flaps coming 40, final setting. Gonna have to trim the aircraft. That's fine. So that's the village I was talking about. There's the runway. There's another little village just to the left here. We'll aim for that. So we're gonna pass here at 900 or 800 roundabout. And then we'll aim for the white building there. A little bit slow because of the outside view. So again, very nice approach, pretty close to the ground, but that's the only way you can fly that approach. Right, landing checklist, we have start switches, continuous, speed brake is armed green light, gear is down 3 green, and the flaps are 40 green light. So there's the white building, I'm going to start my turn, and then we have to aim for about 400 feet above that. So what helps is the track line here, the runway extended center line. And we can see the turn there, so 400 feet, we should see the path be very shortly. So pretty much 400 feet, there we are, one white, one uh, red and white, perfectly on the slope. So continuous turn. Reynolds, clear the runway. Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> Why? So, and, and I flying look like left of Oh Samos. my god, so... Going around, the runway is blocked. Yeah. Flaps 15 and gear is coming up, positive climb. Right, so I would have to say Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. On engine out 5 to 2, uh, we have uh, Mayday fuel. Because I'll be landing with less than my final reserve fuel. It's roughly 1200 kilograms, so definitely. And in case of misapproach, I would do a really quick right hand visual pattern. Otherwise, my engines will go out at some point. Right, so nine miles we'll start the descent. Gears coming down.
how exact i think about five percent five percent error a three to five percent error thereabouts so they are fairly accurate huh? laps coming 15 2500 again there's the little village we aim for there's the runway so four miles we'll start our turn okay i'm down i'm vacating in 10 seconds excellent thank you much Dako. So five miles, we're at minimum now. I'm gonna switch off the flight directors because we're gonna do a visual approach in a second. And then your flight. And four miles, we'll start our turn. Flaps coming 40, starting a slow descent. We're aiming for about um, 1,000 feet overhead the coastline. And there's the next village. So we aim left of this village at the coastline and right of that village in the distance. And there we have those white buildings we aim for at 400 feet. Right, landing rate, it's on. Hopefully no go around. <laughs> so very scenic, very nice. Gonna hug the mountainside there. So 1000 feet above the coastline. There we go, 1000 is checked. So now I'm looking for the white building here. And starting the inbound turn. That's really crazy low there. I know, yeah. but otherwise you can't make it to the runway. So there's a runway and again 400 feet above that um, white building gives you nice on the path indications there. So now we just line up a little bit high and correct. There we go. Now for all of you who've um, put in like 150 touchdown rate, <laughs> be aware that we have a short runway. So no long flare 50, possible. 40, 30, 20, 10. And let's come on. Right. That's the best I can do. But I think you learn better than like me. Well, 900 is not, not difficult to beat. Mm, this speed able when you crash directly in the runway. I saw no value. Hang on. Okay, well it had 138. That was the landing rate, officially. So I'll show it. You'll see it in the screen in a second. 138? Yeah, minus 138. Milan Suti, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That was a good approach. 
So guys, unfortunately I have to leave now, but I will come back in a few minutes, I think. All right, thank you much for taking part, Reynolds, and uh, yeah, thanks for that donation. Okay, until later then. Yeah, see you. Right, only one ton remaining, that was pretty close. Yeah, the airport is very pretty. Correct.